Zulu. Hey. Yeah? Yes. Good. Uh, you, you see, Africa. Oh, Africa. Tulesha kundu. Tulesha kundu. Okay? I'm trying to explain. Stresu, bo siadły korki, któryś kolejny raz wywala prąd, raz w ogóle zniknął, to jest Afryka i tutaj nie można być niczego pewnym. Już mieliśmy od 8 rano rozstawiali ten sprzęt, okazuje się, że to jest długi czas dość, e, za krótki trochę czas dla nich. E, dla nas jest to jakaś wieczność, no ale to jest Afryka, tutaj się trzeba uczyć cierpliwości. Biały człowiek chce mieć wszystko od razu, jak śpiewał Freddie Mercury. I want it all, I want it now, nie? A to nie ma tak, to jest... To trzeba być cierpliwym i, e, i po prostu znać swoje miejsce na tym świecie. Być po prostu pokornym trochę, e, patrzeć jak tu jest, przystosować się do tej sytuacji, bo tutaj nie można wymagać niczego, także mam nadzieję, że zaraz będziemy grali, ale wszystko zależy od różnych sytuacji. Nie, miałem pierwsze wrażenie, że wiesz co, że AAX tutaj, no to to jest bardzo dobra, przyzwoita sytuacja. Tutaj jesteśmy w domu. Tu już jest troszkę gorzej, no ale damy radę. Sabia nie jest takie Chcę serdecznie podziękować Polskiemu Ministerstwu Spraw Zagranicznych za możliwość odbycia tego koncertu. My dawno zdarliśmy Polskę, przyjechaliśmy do Zambii, by głosić dobrą nowinę, by prowadzić ludzi do Pana Boga, ale również by świadczyć o tym, że jesteśmy jedną rodziną, ciągle jesteśmy Polakami. Za to, że nie zapominacie o nas, pracujących w Zambii, serdeczne Bóg zapłać. We love Africa very much. Africa is in heart. We play together with the choir from Punde. Jake Big, yeah. Everybody come here, come here because it will be first with the together we play together with Mpunde Choir. This song is called Africa Tule Sakuno. Okay, 
think the music scene in Zambia now is growing and uh, as you can see we have reached now a level where we are able to collaborate like with bands from Poland now Derek and the, the Malewa Reggae Rockers band they are here so it means we are growing together with the, the rest of the world so it's very very interesting because we are using also the music to send a positive message a message of hope, a message of love, unity and togetherness For me, I realized that music is my life when I was young, uh, when I was in grade one. Music is, is something that has always made my life feel happy. I feel like music is the oil to, of my life because when I sing, I feel happy. When I deliver a message through music, I feel good. I feel it's the greatest platform to impart uh, knowledge to people through music. And I thank God for the voice that God gave me. Uh, and I'm able to sing and deliver uh, messages through music. And this is why when I sing, I feel so relaxed and peaceful. I take you as a fellow revolutionary. Before I start the show, it's very good, honorable, that you are here. As musicians, we cannot sit quiet. Reggae is revolutionary music. Reggae musicians speak about what is happening with the people, so we are messengers. Okay, let's do this now. Let's go. ago there was a lot of influences from 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 America sometimes even from Africa from Congolese music so Zambian music had kind of uh, almost being forgotten so Sakala brothers brought a new feeling of music Makewane music 
and Zambian people supported this very much. So there's a lot of uh, uh, improvement in terms of uh, probably music that uh, goes beyond just entertainment be be because they find there is a message uh, in our music. We call it Makewane music, which is traditional contemporary Zambian music, modern improvisation of African music, uh, meaning we marry the rural and the urban, you know, put together and create this is the kind of music we the traditional instruments together with electric instruments. But number one, the message must be positive message to, to, to change the mindsets of our people. Well, Africa is a nice place and I would like to invite all Polish people that are able to have a chance to come to Africa. Come and experience the real Africa, not what you listen to on the media or read about in the newspapers. The real Africa is very peaceful, loving people. Uh, it's not completely a jungle, I think. And, uh, you know, people are loving, everybody is uh, wants to be like the rest of the world so it's a very nice place uh, those that are afraid you know the fears are unfounded because the fears that you can have in Europe you know like crime violence and them um, are maybe even worse in Europe than it is in Africa so the majority of Africans are peace-loving people yes is bright uh, as long as you know we are mixing with the right kind of people and doing the right thing there will always be a future for reggae music and I think we are growing from strength to strength because a few years ago it was very difficult to you know to get people to come and listen to reggae music especially in the open and now things are changing so I think we are heading in the right direction When 
our uh, mothers were doing music, they were called prostitutes because it's it's a trade that you know people always thought, you know, you you are there entertaining, and they thought you could go with every man because you are you are a public figure, you know, you are entertaining them, and they think what you are doing on stage, you know, they are going to do even after the stage. But I think we are seeing a difference. Women lawyers, women doctors, and of course Zambia has a female vice president, which is a huge plus because it shows that. Uh, young girls can also be determined and become what they want to become. So this is changing. We have a lot of women like in the judiciary. We have a lot of women working uh, everywhere. Everywhere we are seeing women working and which is very good for our country. Yeah. music I I thought of taking up um, uh, traditional Zambian music which is uh, like uh, taking up all age groups from the young ones to the old and uh, I represent a wide spectrum of women my music talks about um, marriage issues uh, family issues and uh, that is what I really wanted, even from the time I was, I started music, to talk to the women through music. Because when you talk to me, I don't talk too much, but when it's through music, I become like another person. Because it's very easy for me to speak through music. Poland is a, is a, spe a special country. I learned a few Polish, you know, of course I can say Jin Dobry, I can say Jinkuye Barzo, you know, it's a beautiful place. Uh, but more especially that the Polish missionaries were some of the first missionaries who brought hope and they've helped the Zambian uh, uh, nation and community a lot in terms of volunteers coming, uh, volunteers coming to work in uh, hospitals, schools and a lot of other areas. So this has uh, impacted our country in a, in a very, very big way. And then when we, re, we have collaborated with Polish musicians, I've been to Poland maybe four times, four times, five times, and I've enjoyed uh, everything. Especially when you talk to the people, uh, they're still holding on to the faith, you know, they are religious people. Because, you know, in life, if you don't belong to any religion, you're not religious, uh, I would say, in my own opinion, you are lost. Listen, Zambia, Poland, unite. 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 Unite. Zambia, Poland, 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 unite. Sing it now. I wanna hear you. Yes, yes. What you say?
people, Poland, we love you so much. We are in Zambia with Derek. We just had a wonderful show here in McKinney, second show. We are going for the third show on Wednesday. And I know we will be coming to Poland one day. We are uniting our people through music, reggae music, rock music, love music. Derek, my brother, yes. yeah man. Big heart. It's a big, big artist and big heart. And uh, we play for people to unite. Yes. No matter white or black or white. Yeah. It's one love, one heart. One heart. Yes, man.